Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Now let's talk about some important process application layer protocols. And by process application, we mean the DOD model. So this is going to be layer 4, the DOD model. And first let's start with certain protocols that use TCP ports. The first is FTP, and this is File Transfer Protocol. It uses TCP port 20 and 21. Now, you do have to memorize the ports that these protocols run on. It's very important to memorize these. And it's going to be especially important when we get to access lists. File Transfer Protocol is used to transfer files. And it's not necessary to know in detail what it does. Uh, SSH, this is a secure shell, so basically it's like Telnet, uh, but it's encrypted. And we're actually going to see this in a little while. It uses port 22, Telnet uses port 23. SMTP, our simple mail transfer protocol, is used to send email. That's on port 25. DNS, domain naming system, that's used to resolve an IP or a domain name to an IP address that's on port 53 and again remember these are all TCP port numbers the unique thing about DNS though is it also uses UDP port 53 so that's kind of an, an odd one but at least the TCP ports and the UDP ports are the same HTTP that's what you use to basically browse the internet that's on port 80 pop 3 that's what you use to check your email if you're using POP3. Uh, that's on port 110. NTP. This is the network time protocol. It works on 120, port 123. Uh, that's used a lot of times by your computer to sync up its time clock with a time server. HTTPS is on port 443. This is uh, HTTP traffic that's encrypted using SSL, also known as secure socket layer. And again, these are the well-known port numbers that these services use by default, and these protocols use by default. But it's good to know in the real world that a port, or I'm sorry, a service or a protocol might not be using this specific port if it's configured custom. So we can have a website actually running on a different port, like port, I don't know, 5000 for HTTP. These are just the default well-known port numbers. Now let's talk about UDP, our protocols that use UDP. We mentioned DNS earlier. It uses port 53. It also uses TCP port 53. Boot P, we talked about that a little bit earlier. It uses port 67 UDP. DHCP, we also talked about that. That also uses port 67. TFTP is tri Trivial File Transfer Protocol. This uses port 69. It's more of a lightweight version of FTP. SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol, is on port 161. This is used a lot of time to help manage devices and send what's called traps to a server that can deal with traps and uh, basically normally notify us when something's going on. So very important to not necessarily know what these protocols do in great detail, but know the port numbers and whether or not they're UDP or TCP.